now uh, let's go ahead and insert some data into the database but before that we will be needing two libraries one is prisma client and other one is body parser so let's go ahead and install these two and in the first lecture like i was uh, trying to install the wrong library so exact name is body dash parser i was trying to install this one which is obviously the not not the right one so that was my mistake so once these two libraries are installed we will be instantiating the prisma client so a uh, prisma client you can see into the documentation if you go here it's kind of query builder for prisma so if you want to interact with the database perform all the queries you will be needing this prisma client so consider it as a query builder so uh, let's instantiate it but before that we will be requiring the body parser middleware import body parser app dot use body parser dot json and let's also instantiate the prisma client so we'll import sorry something from prisma client and that something is prisma client now we will create an object of this prisma client cons prisma is equal to new prisma client we can pass some configurations here as well uh, i'll show you how you can do that uh, but now let's use this prisma client so we'll define one post route to create an article i like usually name these routes as plural uh, it's a naming convention which i like to follow request response and this will be an async function and let's see what we can do uh, wait prisma dot and once you type dot you can see that we have here we have these auto completes and you can see that we have this reference of article table so prisma client light auto automatically picks all the things from schema dot prisma file and it will uh, give you auto complete for it so article dot create and we have all these methods here through which we can perform all the different operations we have create create many and all these things we'll explore them uh, in upcoming lectures as well so first we'll see how we can create it create and inside create what you'll have to do is inside the data key you will have to pass your data so our data will come inside the body and we will say response dot json and we'll say success is true you can also like in the real world applications you will be sending the exact data which is created uh, to the front end as well in the response but as of now we'll test out the things if it's working fine or not but later we'll see how we can send the data as well and also like before inserting the data into the database it's always a good practice to validate it like using some validation libraries or writing your own logic but here we'll go ahead with this only now let's run this npm run start and see if it's working or not so go into the postman create one connection and see http localhost slash articles here i have one i used it for testing purpose and it will be a post request and inside the body we will have a raw body of type json and we will see what all fields we have we have title we have content and we have state so title article one inside the content we have let's say content one and inside the state we will see its uh, draft let's hit send 
and it's giving an error because it's not HTTPS it's HTTP so it says success as true just to refresh the database and you can see that here we have our data and if you go into the Prisma studio as well here there also if you refresh it you can see that we have our data here as well so uh, our create method is working uh, one more thing like I want to show you that is create many so in case you want to bulk insert the data into the database you can have create many so just comment it out and inside uh, like instead of create we'll be using prisma dot article dot create many and it's same like create but instead of single data we'll have to pass the array so request dot body and we'll sending the same response here as well so inside the request dot body now we'll instead of one article we'll have the array of the articles so let's see if it's working or not so let's copy this and it's an array article 2 content 2 article 3 content 3 and let's hit send it says true and we have this data here so it's working like you can use create many to create data in bulk and create to just insert a single data but it's important to perform the validation as i said so uh, now in the next lectures we'll see how we can retrieve this data perform all the different operations where clause find find by something and all so let's catch up in the next one